Bye. Bye. Welcome back to the world of Craig and my hairstyling essentials. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. So this video is going to be all about my hairstyling essentials, products that I use in salon day to day and when I'm on session jobs. So I just want to talk about something before I start going through my favourites um, and that's about how incredible the last kind of two, three weeks have been. About a month ago I decided to shoot some videos for my channel that were a little bit different, which is these. And the first one of those was called Hair Colour Favourites. Um, obviously you've seen that video. If you haven't seen the video, I'll link it down below, go and watch it. And I put the first one of those out on a Monday. And by the Wednesday, I'd had a meeting with Olaplex, which was featured in that video. Um, I use Olaplex every day in the salon. It's the most incredible thing, which you guys will probably already know. Um, I had a meeting with them and then by the following Wednesday I was taking over their Insta story which was like a total career moment. I still kind of get a little bit giddy about it. I can't actually believe that it happened but it did and that kind of brought home to me without getting too out there but it brought home to me how important it is to constantly push forward and to constantly put yourself out there and you know, fight any fears that you have to put yourself out there. I'm not going to get all Oprah on you, but it has been such an incredible three weeks. Thank you so much to everybody that's watched my videos. Hello to anybody that's new to my channel. Let's get on with the video. So first up, I'm going to talk to you about something that is probably in my top three three products of all time. That's a big deal. Um, I use a lot of different things, but this is the one that I always go back to and I always have two or three of them in my locker in the salon. And that is Orbe Maximista. Now this is still in its carton because this is a full one that I bought from the salon. I had one in my session kit, but it was nearly empty. So it just goes to prove that I have many of them floating around. We all know this beautiful Orbe Unicarton packaging. The, the products are not only divine to use, but they are also divine to look at. The reason that I love um, this stuff is it has the most incredible memory. So what is memory? If you're a hairdresser, you probably hear people talk about it. If you're not, you probably think I'm talking about something to do with this, but I'm not. It's about the styling power of the product. All of this, all of the Orbe range, they are really kind of results um, driven products. Orbe Canalas, um, hairdresser, iconic hairdresser, absolutely amazing. If you don't know of his work and um, you are a hairdresser, go check him out because he really is a superstar. Maximista thickening spray. It's not just a thickening spray, like I said. It gives the hair great memory and bounce. I use it a lot when I'm doing, um, there's a, a singer that I look after, a rock star called Imelda May, and she has big rock chick hair that I push wave. Now, I can use this on her before a performance, and the curls, the waves are still in her hair when she's finished her performance. So, it really is an amazing product. I use it before I blow dry, I use it as kind of like a prep spray on anybody's hair. It's really great for anti-static, it obviously gives the hair volume because it's a thickening spray. It's really, really good to layer with other things. So I often use this and a bit of mousse and then a workable hairspray to give me really firm hold and memory, but not like crunchy solid hair. So it's something that I always, always, always have in my kit. The, the Orbe products, they are expensive, but this does go a long way. Um, one of these will last me in my kit bag for about three months and if you're using it at home it would last you for a long time because you really don't need to use a lot but like i said probably my top three that's always maximista so next up i'm going to talk to you about something that is new 
It's from a brand called R & Co and it's their Trophy Shine and Texture Spray. Now, the very, very kind people at R & Co um, were very generous and sent me some products to try. They sent me the Trophy Shine and Texture Spray and then they sent me Death Valley Dry Shampoo. They also sent me a dry shampoo paste, which I haven't actually tried yet. So I'm not gonna to talk to you about it because I haven't tried it and I can only talk to you about things that I have tried on clients or on session jobs. It would not be cool for me to talk to you about things that I hadn't tried because it's not genuine. So the Death Valley Dry Shampoo, very briefly, it's a really great, I've used it, been using it for two days in the salon now. Um, it's a really good invisible dry shampoo. It's not really pokey, it doesn't make the hair look powdery. Um, I like to combine dry shampoo sometimes with like a texture paste to give the hair lots more volume when the hair's really flat. It's obviously beautiful to look at, the packaging is great. It doesn't have a really um, strong smell to it, this one. It's quite a soft smelling dry shampoo. I know some of them are really strong and really put me off, but it's a good, you know, reliable dry shampoo and I've been enjoying it a lot. But what I really want to talk to you about is the Trophy Spray. Now, I'm not a big fan in salon of shine products, of like shine sprays and like gloss sprays because they make the hair really heavy and I spend a lot of my time, my aesthetic is for very sexy wavy hair that's very kind of undone. Shine sprays on that type of hair, unless it's a kind of shoot situation, make the hair look really flat and kind of really dull. And also on clients in the salon, I tend to find that if, you, if someone's having a big blow dry or some kind of push wave action and you use a shine spray, gloss spray on the hair, it just goes flat by the time they go out that night. So I tend to stay away from them. But this is awesome. Um, I've been using it now like three days. I use it on a job and I was kind of, to quote somebody else on YouTube, I was kind of shook. It's, it's really shiny and glossy, but in a light kind of, in a, in a really sheer kind of a way, but it gives the hair texture. So there's an awful lot of texture sprays out there now it, where they really are a kind of thing unto themselves, texture sprays. But this one is probably the most powerful texture spray that I've used so far. There's um, Windblown by Redkin, which I really like, and obviously there's the incredibly um, iconic Orbe texturizer, dry texturizer, which I love. But this has got more power to it, without being sticky or without having lots of hold. And like I said before, it does make the hair shiny. So it's something completely new to me. I didn't know that that texture, that dry texturizing kind of feel could come with shine, but it does. And it comes like this. So thank you very much R & Co to switching me onto something new. I love your new product. Next up it is my favorite hairspray in the world. That's a big deal, I know. There's a lot of hairsprays and people will say hairspray, hairspray, hairspray is hairspray. But this one is extra special and it is always in my kit and that is Redkin Fashion Work. Now, why do I love a hairspray so much? Because it is so workable. You could stick me on a desert island with just this one product and some kind of hot tool, like a, like a Marcel Wave iron, and I could do pretty much anything with this product. It's a super light spray with a super light sprayer delivery system, but you can build it up. So it's good for everything. Um, I use it a lot when I'm doing my red carpet wave technique, um, and I use it a lot when I'm doing like a twist and wrap wave. Both of those techniques are on my Instagram, which is linked down below. Um, there's how to's on my Instagram of how to do lots of different techniques, but a lot of waving techniques because I'm wave obsessed. Fashion work is basically buildable. So the more you use it, the more hold you get. Um, but it's a dry hairspray, so it's got a very 
um, workable, as I keep saying, workable texture to it. It also brushes out really, really easily. So if I am if I'm kind of have a set bag situation, if I'm on a shoot or working in a, in a TV programme, on a show, a live show, then I always have this with me because you can keep using it and using it and using it and it's never gonna you know, give you that crispy or crunchy feeling. I've done shoots where I've used this for like nine, 12 hours and the hair still feels like hair at the end of it. But at the same time, if I have to change something up midway through a shoot or even on a client um, where I've you know, blow dried her hair with mousse and maybe some Maximista, and then I want to put a wave into it really quickly, this is the best stuff because you get no crunchiness and you can actually apply it to each section as you're working um, and you don't have to wait for it to dry and it's not going to stick the eye into the hair, which is always really kind of nasty. So it is a brilliant, brilliant, all round workable hairspray. I use it on my own hair. This is the one that I always recommend to clients. Um, it is fantastic. We all know who the incredible Jen Atkin is, and if you don't know who she is, then you either come from Mars or you live under a rock. But the next product I'm gonna talk about is from her range, and that's the Way Wave Spray. Now this is quite a new one for me. I've been using it um, as much as I've used in the bottle there. I've probably had it for a couple of months, um, or six weeks but it is really incredible. It's strong, it's a firm product, I will say that first off the bat, um, but I, as I've already just mentioned before, am wave and curl obsessed. Um, the reason I love this is it has, again, it has great memory without being really crunchy or crispy. It's stronger than Maximista um, and it, it really does deliver. I was on a shoot this week with a model with incredibly long mermaid hair. She had hair like right down there, almost to her waist. And it was very heavily processed. Um, she had like a, a forehead bleach that had grown out. And the client wanted kind of tweeny, kind of mermaidy waves type of situation. And I used this and her hair lasted all day. It lasted for like six hours, a six hour shoot, in about 80% humidity in a studio. It's really, really nice to work with. Um, I tend to spray it through the hair, rough dry it in, and then spray each section as I'm curling or waving. Um, but it does really, really hold the hair. It, you do get a tiny little bit of crunchiness as you're working with it, but then when you brush it out, when you run your fingers through the hair afterwards, all of that goes. So um, I bought this, reluctantly bought it. I don't know why, because everyone raves about it. Use it the first time and I'm totally hooked. That's Jen Atkin, The Way Wave Spray. So next, I just wanna briefly talk to you again about Redkin's One United. This product I talked about in my hair color favorites and if you haven't seen it, it's linked down below. Um, it's a really good all-rounder. Redkin say on the packaging it does 25 things. Mm, I'm not sure it does 25 things. things. A lot of them overlap each other. But it is really good for calming, fluffy, slightly frizzy hair. Um, I'm not a huge fan of oils and serums. I am going to be talking to you about one in this video. But I'm not a massive fan. If you've got minimal frizz and fluff that you want to tame, something that could end up being very static, this is a really great product. If you wanna see more about it, hear more about it, then click the link below and check out my video, my hair color favorites video, because I talk more about it in there. So that is Redkin's One United. So, <coughs> no. So next up, we're gonna go back to Orbe and talk about a couple of things. Um, the first one is gel serum. Now, as hairdressers, we often do, certainly when I do session work, I often do very slicked, um, very snatched, very tight ponytails. And I need a product to do that, a gel, 
obviously. Um, some people like to use like a, a cream based product, but I like something that has a little bit of hold and a little bit of set to it. And I use gel serum for that because, a couple of reasons. The first reason is it doesn't ever set completely hard. Um, it is a gel, yes, it does have alcohol in it, it does set, but it gives you quite a bit of workability. The second reason is it has mica in it, so it's, it's slightly glittery. It's a slightly, although you can't see any glitter in it as such, it does have slightly light reflective particles. You can probably see there on the back of my hand, the actual texture of it. It is slightly like a serum without being greasy. It doesn't have loads of grease and loads of oil in it. So it's really, really great for making a really clean hairline and giving you that hold enough to get something really, really finished and very smooth. I often work with it, work it into the hair, tie the hair back and then smooth it over the hairline just to finish any edges with, um, with a small toothbrush. It is a really great workable gel that gives you the control that you need to create really fantastic ponytails. So before I talk about the next Orbe product, I just wanna say very briefly, I'm not paid by Orbe in this video to talk about these products. They are products that I use and they are products that I have paid for. I buy them from Orbe. They are in my session kit. I use a mix of different things in my session kit. I do have quite a few Orbe products in there and that's because I like them. They deliver results. Um, the, the textures and the finishes and the delivery systems are things that I like to use. So the next thing is their new Freestyler working hairspray. So I've already kind of waxed lyrical about Redkin fashion work. I love that spray. It is really fantastic. And you know, it is one of my favorites. But this comes very close to it. Um, this is a new launch from Orbe and I had it kind of kicking around in my bag because I use a lot of fashion work when I'm out on jobs. And I took it with me on a job with a couple of actresses about six weeks ago and I used it all day. It was a stock shoot. So basically that's where you're um, doing promotional material for actors. And it's a bit like a fashion shoot in that you do lots and lots of different looks. One of the actresses, uh, the pictures you will see soon, they are amazing. One of the actresses had tons and tons and tons of hair, the most beautiful hair, the hair of dreams. And I changed her hair six times in about four hours with this. And I could still brush it all out at the end of the day and her hair still, still felt incredible. Um, something that's quite new to me, I've only had it, like I said, for a couple of months but it really is worth trying and you know, it gives you a beautiful finish and it's fantastic to work with. That is Orbe Freestyler. So I've already mentioned that I'm not a great one for serums, oils, things that could possibly weigh the hair down or kind of make it sticky and, and kind of ruin what you've done to prep the hair. But I have recently been trying out Original Mineral Frizzy Logic. Now, I bought this in Selfridges in London on Oxford Street and because I felt that my kit needed something that was, that was a finisher, that was a shine serum, but that was very light um, in texture. Nice, really nice packaging, by the way. I love a bit of gold. And the reason that I, I went for this one is I like the ethos behind it. They don't use anything that is heavily processed or heavy, heavily chemical. So it's organic. Um, the ingredients in it are organic. It has argan oil in it and it also has, uh, organic, it has organic argan oil in it, he says. And it also has macadamia nut oil. Now we know argan oil is incredibly light. So I was kind of loathe to try this out in salon because I didn't want to make anyone's hair greasy. Um, but it is a really, really, really light textured oil. It comes in like a tiny dropper. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand so that you guys can see the texture of it. It is, it is incredibly light and slippery. It is an oil, so you need to go steady with it. But I have used it on a few, um, 
few of my colours in salon once I've blow dried them out and the, the hair is very sleek and it really does seal the ends of the hair um, and does give incredible shine. It's also got in it, what else does it have in it? It calms and smooths the hair and it's a great barrier against humidity. So we all know that on damp hair, oil tends to keep humidity in, moisture in and keep humidity out. So it's quite a new product to me, but I'm really enjoying the texture of original mineral frizzy logic. Uh, I completely forgot to say as well, because I'm giddy from all these products, it smells absolutely incredible. I'm not really great on like really, really heavily scented products. It doesn't smell strong, it just smells delicious. So my last product in my hair styling essentials is Redken Hot Sets. Wow. So this is really gutsy. It's a very, very strong setting spray, but it is brilliant. And I always have one of these in my kit, always, because you never know when you're gonna to have to do something that's really classical. I, it's quite a new product this, it has uh, from Redkin, it's part of like a heat styling, restyling technology range that they have. And what that means is, is it has polymers in it that you can heat up and style, and then you can reheat them and restyle. Now, this first came out and I was given some um, by Redkin to try, and I took it to the Olivier Awards which is a um, great big theatre awards in London at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, it was around Easter time this year. It was the first time I'd done the event. It was an amazing, an incredible experience to do. And I'm very fortunately going back next year to do it again, which is awesome. But we did a lot of classical hair that day. It was just waves, waves, curls, waves. It was a lot. I did about, I must've done about 22, 22, 25 heads. I mean, it really was incredible, such a fantastic thing to be part of that team. But I used this a lot. I think I used about one and a half of these that day. And it's not something you would spray onto the hair when it's, when it's dry and then dry it in and then work with it. You spray each section as you're working. And it's a wet spray because it's non-aerosol, obviously it is a pump. So it's quite a wet spray. But what that does is it gives you incredible hold. Um, I did one of the principal dancers from the Red Shoes and I did very, very classical twist and wrap um, finger wave kind of look. You can see that on my Instagram, which is linked down below. And I mean, it lasted completely. She came to me, I put the waves in, she went off to go and get changed she had pulled her dress over her head, came back to me, I dressed it out again, she went and did red carpet, then she came back again, got changed, and you know, and so on and so on, and her hair lasted. And I saw some selfies of her that she took and um, later on that night, and it was still in. So it is very firm, it does go crispy, you do need to brush it out, it's not something that you would work with and it gives you a kind of natural hold, it's a firm hold but it's fantastic for all those really classical heat styled looks. That's Redkin Hot Sets. So second time round of filming a batch of these review videos, who would have thought that I would be getting one done in like half an hour? Wow, bam. So that's my hairstyling essential, no. So a lot of people don't know, but H&M, Henny's, that fantastic, iconic Scandinavian brand, do hair products. And they came out a couple of years ago and because I'm product obsessed, I went and bought a few to try them out. And my favorite from the range that I've been using is Defining Moments Texture Paste. Now, Beachy is in and it's not going away anywhere and I love kind of undone hair. As you have seen from a lot of the stuff in this video, I like a lot of sprays. I like a lot of, I like to build things and to make things really workable. I don't like anything that's super strong unless I'm doing something that needs a lot of hold, a more classical look. So Defining Moment Texture Paste is a really great beachy product. 
Um, it's really, really nice to work through the hair once you've created the movement and the texture, just to break it up and to give you that slightly more undone look. It's really good on guys as well. I do sometimes put this in my own hair and I am a guy, so there you go. Um, super affordable. I think this is like 6 pounds £7, something like that. Um, kind of cute packaging for a hair product. I don't know who manufactures it. I don't know if H&M do it themselves or if they get someone else to, but it is similar to some of the higher end, more expensive um, texture pastes that, that I've tried. Um, I do find that if you put too much in the hair, it gets really gritty. It is a very gritty product, it is quite strong. So I generally use sort of like a fingernails amount in, in kind of longer hair but it has a, a kind of minimal hold. It is more about that kind of beachy texture. So that's H&M Defining Moment Texture Paste. So that's my hairstyling essentials. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and obviously subscribe to my channel because there's lots more coming. As you know, I'm product crazy. Are you? Are you? Tell me what you love down below in the comments. Is there something that I haven't commented on that you would like me to see me review and talk about? Is there something you feel I need in my kit that I don't have? Is there something I've talked about today that you really don't like and you wanna give me your feedback? Then please comment, because I love to hear your comments. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again soon.